All right, I'm just uh, sitting down watching TV. I'm going to eat my uh, ice cream. But um, the one thing I've been trying to tell people, and um, it's not a big deal about this whole thing in the news, and including if you look at other countries with the virus and the numbers, and it's just a hype thing, and I'll, I'll explain why. Um United States loves attention. They lo we love money. Um, we like getting paid. You know, we like drama. We like wars. You know, anything for attention. And so we use news to make the whole world go insane. You know, and we can, we have, I'm doing it right now just by recording a video. Um, so this is from my phone. So I can have the camera up, and what I'm going to do is, if we go to news break, you'll see United States versus global. All right, and if you do some basic math, there's a huge missing number. Everyone's like, oh, one and a one point six about you know one point six million cases confirmed, except then you look at the next number and there's green, you know, oh that's good. Um, about three, almost 300,000 recovered, and then you look at the, the last one, and obviously that's bad, and I, uh, almost 100,000 deaths. This is from when it started. Except <clears throat> 1.562 minus 287 minus 100,000. So you, you, you totally, you're talking about, a, I'm saying 100,000 plus 300,000 equals the actual confirmed um, severe cases. So, 1.6 minus 4 is 1.2. 1.2 million cases, well, what is that? I don't get it. Is that people who quarantined themselves and just happened to get better and didn't go back and, and confirm that they were okay? Is that um, people who were falsely um, confirmed and they're just assuming that they got better or died? Um, so, it, there's a big number of a hype. And then it's 1.6, this is United States, 1.6, you know, rounded up, million cases confirmed, except the total population of, oh, what did I do? Whoops. Um, currently, of the United States is 3.28 million. 3.28 million minus 1.6 isn't what the whole confirmed cases is. It's actually one, you know, less than half a million confirmed severe cases. Half a million. That's nothing. That's completely nothing. So the news is really hyping this up insane. <clears throat> um, and then the next one is, if you look globally, you'll notice the next one is 300,000 confirmed in Russia, uh, about 80,000 recovered, and about 3,000 deaths. 3,000 deaths total in Russia. So, go back here. So, let's see the total population of Russia. Same thing. It's, and, it's about 145 million. So, 145 million minus 300,000 300, total confirmed cases. So... The 76, that's just say 85,000 total confirmed severe cases. Um, so 300,000 minus 85, you're still left with two, 215,000 unconfirmed cases. There's a missing number. And this is where people are going insane trying to figure out, you know. So we go, you know, even Italy, where, you know. The recovered is half the population, or no, no, half the half the confirmed cases, which is odd. I don't even see China on here. You keep scrolling. There's no China. Yeah, there's no China. So wouldn't that be second or third? Like, you know. So there's a huge missing number, and that's what you have to calculate. On how severe how severe the hype is of what you're seeing on the news, or even if it's a big deal or not. Um, 
And the fact that the, the money, the stimulus, the unemployment, the pandemic, yada yada, and you're thinking how many people have died from car accidents, how many people have died from cancer, any, any death unrelated to the virus at all, or even unconfirmed people just committed suicide and no one finds them for a week. Um, and the fact that these tests are 50-50 positive-negative, meaning you could, you could have a false positive, a false negative, and that's where all these, uh, that's where it says confirmed. It's like how many times did they run the test? Did they just test it once? You can't test something once. You have to do trials upon trials. The only way for a flu vaccine to actually work properly is you have to test it for decades, uh, 30, 40 years to actually perfect a vaccine for it. This new virus is just basically um, an elaborate, an adaptive, and extremely severe uh, version of the flu. It's not a flu, it's not a like a, a direct version of the flu, but it's a major, uh, so just like SARS, just like all the other ones, um, but you have long-term hype too. So they said the United States won't recover the same way compared to something else, but then remember 9-11? We talked about that for a decade after, and it's still a big deal. We still didn't get over it. Everyone wanted to wage war, everyone wanted to nuke these countries, everyone wanted to blame someone. So these numbers are getting us all hyped up about, so like, right now Massachusetts is the fourth on the list, and the next one would be California, specifically Los Angeles, and if you notice, confirmed is twice as much, it's actually rising, and if you notice the total number, California has more confirmed weekly and daily cases than New York now, so they'll be number three in about two weeks. Massachusetts will be number six in about two weeks, and I'm estimating, I don't know why Pennsylvania is even there. The next one should be like Detroit, right, there it is, Michigan, yeah, Chicago, which is odd, I don't know, that's right, yeah, Illinois is number four, uh, number three, so you got Chicago, and then Detroit is number seven, so Detroit will be next oddly it's not I mean Detroit and Chicago are almost in the middle of the country anyway Mass, New Jersey and New York are all you know uh, northeast New England New York's not really New England but you know what I'm gonna Connecticut yeah that's that's way down there it's not even a but you see where I'm getting at is these numbers are going to fluctuate depending on how the states run how the weather is in that state anyway, in different seasons, and the total population of um, that state and the density in the certain major cities. So in Massachusetts, basically it's Boston, Worcester, um, not really Springfield, it's just the, the eastern part. So when you go to the western part of Mass, like Berkshires, um, you don't really see the Franklin, you don't really see those kind of counties having these extreme numbers. And then you go to California and have San Francisco, San Diego, and Los Angeles. But in between San Francisco and Los Angeles and like the, the mountainous areas, you don't have a lot. Um, toward the desert areas, you don't have a lot. Um, any, any type of area where people are spread out anyway. So don't get the, this hype on the news worrying you, don't panic or anything when you see updates and yada yada. And that mask thing, it's only necessary inside or where there's a density of people. Not all the time. You don't have to worry when you're on the sidewalk. I, I walk down the sidewalk all the time and I pass people. Hold your breath. Seriously, just hold your breath. Look the other way, you know. Um, and clean and wash your hands all the time and wash your face. That's, that's it. It's simple. Don't you know, don't think that some a cop's going to arrest you because you didn't wear your mask inside your car. And, you know, the beaches are now open in Massachusetts. And they're, they're saying, you know, even on the beach, you're supposed to wear a mask. Keep at least 12 feet apart if you're in a group of people. Don't, um, don't have groups of more than 10. 
And then it says, you don't have to wear your mask in while swimming. It's like, are you kidding me? The mask is bigger than my swimwear. <laughs> um, so I'll just walk on the beach, take my clothes off, and when I walk in with my swimwear, I'm going to get definitely 30 feet distance. Unless you have those people, which then running after me. But I go actually swimming, you know. Um, beaches around here in the Berkshires aren't really, you know, you have ponds and lakes and stuff. But um, Boston... It's the last time I went to Boston. There was so much freaking glass on the beach. I ended up just not even doing anything. I cut my feet so much anyway, and it's the, the garbage is everywhere. Los Angeles, same thing with the pollution. But yeah, look at you know, go to your news feed. Go on, you know, look at that missing number there. Like I said, that's 1.2 million cases unconfirmed. They're only showing you three numbers. And then also put in the total population of the whole United States. And then put in the total population, so like in mass, you know. So, 6.9 million. Let's just say 7 million. Alright, 7 million... And look at how low that number is compared to the total population of, of the state. Plus, you got to realize the majority is in Boston, Worcester, Springfield, and towns surrounding Boston, really. But um, we're not talking about the whole state. We're not talking about every single city. It varies through the entire country, each state, each county, each city, each whatever. <clears throat> 